What's going on, Melon Farmers? DMAC back with another episode of the Darren McDonald Be a Pro Series for NHL 22. If you have to already scroll down, hit that like button, subscribe, and in this one, we are in the third round of the Stanley Cup playoffs up against the Vancouver Canucks. They're 8 and 4 throughout the playoffs. We are 8 and 2. We just took on the President's Trophy winning team, and now we're taking on the third place team. So I'll see you guys on the ice at the halfway point of game one. So unfortunately, as we get to the halfway point of game one, we are actually losing this game three to two. But my goodness, Nathan McKinnon is a member of the Vancouver Canucks here in year six. I'm like 90 percent sure. Right. Didn't we just go over this? What year we're in? It's year six. Right. All right. So one second off the clock, we're going to be getting on the ice. The goaltending matchup in this series thus far. Looks like it is going to be Jesper Wallstead, my guy, steady Jesper. That pass had no hope whatsoever versus Kevin Lankinen in net for the Vancouver Canucks. So, I mean, you know what? Good on him, man. Here we go. Oh, 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 oh. Get around him. Here we go, baby. Down the ice, right off the heezity hop. Get across the goaltender, and I went too close. I got in way too tight on that one and had, like, no hope of going in the net. So, here we go. Poulain. Bringing her down the ice for Vancouver. I got to turn back just a little bit. We're poking it off him. He's having a little bit of trouble. Jesus, is he ever slippery, though? Nils Hoaglander can't even hit him. Here we go. He's going to wind and fire. Gets it right off the body of his own player. We're stopping up. Get it to Pavel Zaka. Zaka in the zone. He can't hold on to it. Damn. Gets that one all the way in deep for the Vancouver Canucks. Gets it up to Kovanov. And La Liberté gets it to Yermo. Yermo to Pontus Aberg and Esteban Hall, the franchise playmaker. Going to steal that one away. Get it to DMAC. We got to stop up. Let's turn back. Oh, one off a skate. Oh, my goodness. What a dumb pass. <laughs> oh, that was terrible. Stelio Mateos gets it to La Liberté. Or La, La Liber. I don't know what his name is. <laughs> Man, it's like I was so good at pronouncing names, and now it seems like I just lost all of that ability. Here we go. OEL gets it up to D-Mac. Wind and fire. Nice save by Kevin Lankinen, who is in the third round of the Stanley Cup playoffs as a starting playoff goaltender. So, I mean, like I said, good for you, man. Good for you. Esteban Hall loses that one to Yermo. He gets it to Pedersen. Pedersen flying down the ice. Nate McKinnon gets it up to Pontus Aberg. Pontus Aberg trying to get in deep, and he can't do nothing with it. Here's OEL. He loses it right in front of his own net. Oh, my goodness. And Jesper Wallstead just gets a tiny piece of that one. Here we go. Simulating the final 20 seconds of the second period off the clock. And that's going to do it for the second. So we weren't able to tie this game. Maybe we'll have better luck in the third, baby. So put 20 minutes back on the clock as always as we attempt to make a little bit of a comeback in this one here at the XL Energy Center in Minnesota, baby. <sighs> down by one. You don't want to go down one nothing early in a series. Worst things have happened. I mean, look at the last look at the last round, man. We went down friggin <laughs> We went down 2 nothing to the Colorado Avalanche before getting four straight wins kind of unreal i really thought we were going out in the second round so you know what it's absolutely just calm down this is a team that's really good at rallying coming back nice feed nice feed right in front oh nice stop by kevin lankin and who actually plays that puck that's kind of wild here we go Husey boy lose that thing oh, oh stopping up okay sidestepped him a little bit he's trying to throw hits on me now we're gonna turn back this time Gets it back to the point. Darnell Nurse gets it to Schneider right in front. Oh, D-Mac back to Schneider. Schneider back to Nurse. I'm over here. I'm over on the side. It's all right. It's all right. Okay. Okay. <laughs> you got to turn a little quicker than that, buddy. <gasps> well, look at this. Cuts right into the front. Oh, my goodness. What a goal. <laughs> There's number 15 in the playoffs for D to the Mac after just, you know, that, that whole middle of the ice just kind of opened up a little bit for me. And it's like, drive the net, man. Drive that net. Those defenders just could not get back into position to even attempt it. Look at it. Look at how far away they were. That was Nathan McKinnon trying to get back and play defense, trying to cover up for his guys who were in horrible position. We can't get a goal. They can't get a goal. Nobody can get a goal. And we end up going to overtime or something. But I mean, otherwise, the momentum is with us right now, Halsey. That was a really risky one. You know what I mean? Here we go. Braden Schneider. Nice feed. Gets it up to the Mac attack. Let's turn back and throw it around the net. Here we go. Esteban Halt. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. if you would have found me there, that could have been dead. Lah. Here we go. D to the measle. Low shot on net. Esteban Hall picks it up in the corner. I'm just trying to get open. Just trying to get open. That one takes a couple crazy bounces. 
Let's get in front. Halsey, where are you, baby? Can't get it. Oh, that was a bad pass. Bad pass and a great defensive play by uh, not Braden Schneider. Who else was it? It was Darnell Nurse. <laughs> It was Darnell Nurse. He was on the wrong side of the ice. That's why I got them confused. But amazing defensive play to just get himself in the way. Drop feed to D-Mac. That one goes off a leg. And I'll pick it. I'll, I'll, I'll take that. Don't you worry about it. D-Mac back out in front. Here you go. Esteban Hall. No, it's loose in front. Oh, it hits the goalpost. We haven't had any sustained pressure. I need you to change that. I can do that, coach. I'll swing the momentum in our favor. So I'm thinking... Uh, because we're doing one more season of the Be A Pro, we're doing one more season of the franchise mode, um, maybe I'll start throwing some fun videos in there. I was thinking about doing a fun video for Tuesday. Not a Be A Pro, not a franchise mode, not a nothing. Just like a fun, maybe some kind of like a career sim video, but not for like an actual player. I was thinking about doing stuff like that. Maybe near the end we'll bring back some of the uh, jersey creation videos. That could be fun. We do a couple jersey creations. Maybe we could use one of them. I'll have to start like marking down templates and stuff for when NHL 23 comes out. And who knows, man? Maybe we can use one of them next year for our franchise mode if we do an expansion team. Halsey gets it to d -back. What a passing play. And we take a 4-3 to three lead in the third period of this one. I believe in the final 10 damn minutes of the game. Yep, just past the 10-minute mark. That is D-Max second of the night, 16th of the playoffs, and second of the period. Look at this. D-Max getting roughed up a little bit. He's got that unstoppable force X factor. It's the pass across Halsey to Kovanov to Halsey. Back feed, no look backhand pass to D-Max, who's cutting across the blue paint, tosses her home. Gorgeous. What are you saying now, Capitan? If I blinked, I would have missed that one. That was a nice snapshot. Thanks, coach. Doing whatever I can to gain some momentum. I like it a lot. All right, but let's back this off, man. we got to calm this down a little bit. We're up by one. Late in the game. Tori Krug gets that up to Esteban Hall. We just got to hold them off now, right? We just got to, like, play smart. Don't let them score. Kovanov almost gets her going. It's loose in front. And Kovanov puts it home. And that's a two-goal lead now, man. All right. I had nothing to do with that. And I'm totally fine with that. Alexander Kovanov only has four goals in the play. Look at this. He tries to take a shot, hits a skate. Halsey gets a shot. Rebound pops out. And Alexander Kovanov puts it home. No problemo. Beautiful goal. DMAC pulls that one out of the pile of bodies. Gets it up to Halsey. Let's set a pick. There we go, baby. Setting picks. Anus Brodine gets it back to Halsey. Halsey is just looking for somewhere to go. Nice feed. Nice feed. Let's just get that one deep. Toss it around the net. Look at look at Esteban. Look, oh, and he left it behind for Jut. <laughs> He's big. He's tough to knock down. Here we go. Brock Besser gets it to Nathan McKinnon. That's a lethal combination, especially with Pedersen also there with them. What a steal by Carson Lambos getting it out of his own zone. I like it a lot. D Max stopping up again. Where are we going? Back P. Uh, back P? Back, <laughs> back pass. That was just awful. Lambos, man, we start, oh, Kovey kept it, he kept it, kick it deep, he's not going to be able to kick it deep, Halsey actually held the zone and threw it around the net, and Kovanov is going to get there first, kick it out in the middle, ooh, baby, here we go, uh, get a pass over to Halsey, nice save by Kevin Lankin, and he's going to be forced to cover that one up, and their goaltender gets off the ice, Colton Sissons, trying to take that one out of his own zone, look at Kovanov, oh, wow, boom, throwing hits, we got her back, D-Mac, Oh, man. Just come on. Somebody get open. Somebody get open. Here we go. Nice. Little Ninja Deeks. Gets that one up to Esteban Hall. Easy shot. Easy goal. Second of the night for Esteban Hall, the, the ageless, graying, 19-year-old wonder. <laughs> and he is going to toss home his second goal of the game. His third. Just his third. Wow. Third goal of the playoffs. I think he has like nine or ten assists, though, so he is looking relatively solid. We said in the end of the last episode, Esteban Hall was not looking so hot so far in these playoffs. Things change. He's looking a whole lot better now. <laughs> and we got 30.3 left in the third with a three-goal lead, six to three. Lots of threes. Jet Wu goes offside, and this is the game we're going to play now, eh? So what we need to do is get control of this puck directly off the face-off. Maybe rag it for a couple of seconds, make it to center, dump it. That's what we got to do. Great face-off win by Kovanov. Turn back. We just got to kind of discombobulate these guys. Turn back again. We got to discombobulate these guys, get ourselves to center ice. Come on. Nope, turn back. Can't get around that guy. Here we go, baby. 
Pass it up to Esteban Hall. We got five seconds to go. And yeah, we're killing clock. I thought the goalie had that for a second. I was going to say, don't you dare. All righty, there you go, baby. Game one, great victory. We got a 1-0 series lead over the Vancouver Canucks. I'll see you guys at the halfway point at game two. All righty, so here we go. Jumping into game two of the third round of the Stanley Cup playoffs. Tied at one with only 7-16. To go in the second period of this one, we are shorthanded for the next, like, minute something. Uh, minute 18, minute 15, 16, 18, 14. I don't know, man. It's diving all over the place. But here we go. 5.58 to go. Still tied at one. We're already approaching the end of the second period. We are out hitting Vancouver 21 to 8. Holy crap a moly. We are just physically dominating these guys. Here we go. Kovanov. Off the draw, throws a low shot on net is Braden Schneider, but that one's no good. Kovanov pulls it out. Oh, what a poke check. I was just about to do a fancy ninja move, but I believe it's still Kevin Lankinen. Decided to get a beautiful stick poke check out. Esteban Hall brings it into the zone. Wow, he just like snuck, he snuck around everybody right there. Darnell Nurse right in front of Kovanov. What a shot through traffic, and that one just missed high and wide on the short side and Poulain. Brings that one into the zone. Cannot get there. And Schneider decides to shoot at his own net. Not give it to his goalie, but literally shoot at his own net. Kovanov through the middle. Oh, my goodness. They just swelled on me so good. Knock it around the net. Marino. <laughs> Can we hold it? Can we not overly? What are we doing? Oh, my goodness. Get away from me. Get out of here. You want to go? Let's go. You want to you be like that? That's the kind of game you... Oh, get out of the way. <laughs> Yermo. All right, here we go, baby. We're on the bench, four mi just under four minutes to go in the second period, simulating down two zeros. All right, didn't expect that. But again, hey, you know, this it seems like the clock is moving pretty damn fast in this one. So put 20 minutes back on the clock as always as we attempt to break the tie here against the Vancouver Canucks. Do something good. Do, do some good goodness here in the Western Conference Finals. And eliminate probably one of the only, one of, if not the only Canadian team left. <laughs> oh, man. I'm Canadian, but it's like most of the teams that I cheer for are American. You know what I mean? So, it's kind of always been that way. It's just, oh, look at this. What a, f oh my goodness. Esteban Hall, that was grody-tastic. But yeah, anyway, I am a Canadian, but most of the teams that I cheer for are American. Aside from... Uh, I would I, I cheer for Ottawa. I like the Sens, and I really like what they're doing. Whoa, this is weird. <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> oh, my goodness. What a pass. What a goal. But, yeah, uh, I like the Senators. I like the Oilers. But that's, I don't know, in Canada, that's pretty much it. Otherwise, you know, I'm a big fan of Chicago. I like, uh, I like Columbus. I like Washington. I love Florida. Um, I like L.A. I've always liked L.A. Here we go, Jet Wu, taking that one out into the neutral zone, gets it to Casey Middlestad. Over to Nils Hoaglander, walks in, nice shot, easy save for, oh, it almost looked like Wallstead was trying to play that one before covering that puck up. What do we have here? Defensive zone draw, Alexander Kovanov does get the win. Beauty push, what a pass. Come on, use your wheels, damn it. Oh, goalie pulled. Oh, tried to put it five hole and it didn't work on Kevin Lankin. And now Quinny Boy Hughes gets it up to Casey Middlestat. And Vancouver's coming on hard. Nice kick save, but there was a big old rebound left behind there. Darnell Nurse got knocked off that puck and then like literally ran away. Like just went on vacation after. Let's turn back. Let's calm this down. We'll get her to Esteban Hall. Watch out. Don't want you to get hit now. Kick it into the middle. Didn't work. But Halsey gets it back. Set a little bit of a mini pick there. Oh, Darnell. What are we doing? Oh, and they didn't do anything with it. Middle stat. Gets that knocked off him. Poulin. Boom. And there's Braden Schneider. He's also having some trouble with it. Knock it off him. And he just gives it right back. What are you doing? Oh, <laughs> dude. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> That was some of the worst defense I've ever seen. You guys just like fumbled it, fumbled it, fumbled. It was like watching freaking angels in the outfield here where the, the ball's just diving all over the place. My goodness, that's brutal. 
And then it's like they just like they'd get it and they just stand there with it. Like my god, you used to be Mel Clark. Let's go. Kovanov big face off win. OEL gets it to the Mac attack and we are finally successfully able to get this one out of our own zone. Cutting into the middle a little bit. Buddy's on me. Oh, Buddy is on me so bad right now. DMAC backs it off to OEL. OEL. Oh, bad try, Kruge. Oh, Freddy Krueger. I was going through the draft. Oh, here we go. Pan's Labyrinth gets it over to Stel Stelio Mateos. It's like I have no problem with that name, but I mean, I, you never know. I could be saying that one wrong too. But yeah, no, it's, I, was, I mentioned Freddy Krueger. I was actually doing my own personal franchise mode. Not for YouTube, just for me. Keep your grubby paws off my stuff. And the number five pick at the draft was a defensive defenseman named Freddy Krueger. I thought that was pretty damn cool. I traded up substantially in the draft because he had the greatest name of all time. I was like, I don't care. I don't even care if he's EA-ified as hell. Total bust. Doesn't matter. Based on name alone. I gotta get him. And we're shorthanded again. Oh, man. What are we doing? What kind of game are we playing today? OEL slashing penalty. We killed it off, though. So you gotta give the boys credit. Dumps that one deep into the zone. Picked up by Anus Brodine. Again, who runs away from it. The second they lose the puck, they literally... It's like they... They're a horse that just got stung by a bee. They just, like, run home. Just blindly. <laughs> uh, come on! I can't beat Pedersen there. I almost knocked him off it, but I wasn't able to. And Yermo can't get hit by DMAC. He does sideswipe that hit, and Pedersen brings it deep into the zone. Middle stat. Beautiful save. Great glove. Boom! By Jesper Wallstead. Oh, steady Jesper. They are beating us in time on attack. They're heavily outshooting us. None of those things are too premium, but I'm hoping. It's not going to matter, because I'm hoping we can put another goal in. Right now, baby, Anus Brody and DMAC loves that right off the draw. Just rush in. Cut across. What? Um, no. <laughs> it's not how that works. DMAC back out in front. Just trying to get around some folks. Just whip it off, off a leg. Middle stat. Boom. Get off this thing. Oh, no, he got me back. <laughs> oh, DMAC's been killed. Here we go. Right in front of the net. What a feed. Oh, low shot. I was taking a hit while I was trying to take a shot. That really didn't work out so well for me. Here we go. Yermo. Where are you going to go with this thing, buddy? Uh, slow pass up to Nils Hoaglander. Hoaglander brings it through the blue line, and he loses it. Kovey gets it to Halsey. We are getting flipping tired right now, I tell you. Big pass into the corner. DMAC literally going out of his way to avoid the puck. And still, it's like, oh, man, as soon as I get past that, like, half energy mark, it's like you got no agility, no speed, no nothing. You go for the puck, and then you're just, like, turned around running in circles. Oh, what a hit right at the buzzer on Marco Rossi, who does pop up pretty quick. And gosh darn it, we are going to overtime in game two. So put 20 minutes back on the clock again as we go into... Sudden death overtime here in the third round of the Stanley Cup playoffs. Game two at XL Energy Center in Minnesota. Let's do it. Nice feed. Oh, why did I dead stop? Turn back. Oh, Besser, you done got undressed. Oh, cutting into the middle. What? <laughs> First shot of the overtime is a game winner. 17th of the playoffs. And DMAC puts his team up two to nothing in the Western Conference Finals. So here we go, game three of the Western Conference Finals. And as soon as we got to the end of the regular season, I noticed Mr. Esteban Hall stopped growing this year. And I am not about that. Lala Burton taking the face off. He gets the win. Husey is just going to toss that one down the ice. We had a more than two minute power play right there. Erickson Eck gets that one up to DMAC over to Esteban Hall. Halsey, whoa, back to DMAC. Some of the auto animations are so bad in this game, man. Yermo tosses that one back down the ice yet again. That is, there was another video I did want to make at some point, like kind of a ranty video, but I, I was hoping to record a whole crap load of games and <clears throat> get a bunch of exam. Oh, wow, what? <laughs> Kovanov, what a play. Oh my god, my voice just died. And we are tied at three. Okay, I'll take it, man. I will take that every day of the week. But I wanted to make like a ranty kind of video about uh, how the game beats you. It's It's been a problem for years 
with the NHL franchise because of how poorly they program the AI to play. Like, as soon as you are good at the game, like, if you have any kind of real skill when playing these games and you can play, like, a franchise mode on a high difficulty, it's like they don't know how to program AI to beat you by being better than you. Like, they can't beat you by outskilling you. So what the game does is makes you terrible in a crap load of little ways that all accumulate throughout the game and turn into a loss. And at the end of the loss, you're basically breaking your controller because you're like, that wasn't a fair loss. And then, that's the, the crazy thing about this game, though, is then in the next time you lose the game, it'll be you just get manhandled by some powerhouse. And it's like, that was a loss that felt good. We just got dummied in that game. That was a great loss. And then the next time you lose, it's like, there were 17 things that happened in a two-minute span that I, first of all, didn't tell you to do, and second of all, like, made all these mistakes that made no sense. Like, there was no reason why you did all those things wrong. That's not what I told you to do. You know, like, stuff like that. So I wanted to get a crap load of examples of just a bunch of little things that can accumulate all throughout one game and result in a loss and make kind of a ranty video about that, you know what I mean? So here we go, off the ice. That felt like a mini rant video right there. Whiny ass turd nugget. Here we go, baby. End of the second period, tied at three. So put 20 minutes on the clock, hopefully. One last time in this video, there was a couple little spots where I'm like, damn, this is starting to take forever. But there were other spots where I was like, man, this video's moving fast. Here we go, Braden Schneider. Straight off the drawa. Tosses that one deep in the zone. Oh, Husey picks it up behind his own net. He gets it over to Brock Besser. Besser in the neutral zone. Oh, I just couldn't quite shadow Pedersen properly. And he was able to get a hold of that and bugger right off. There we go. Throwing bodies. d -Mac, he's just so big. 6'4", 220, baby. Just tossing bodies. Kovanov, what is he doing? <laughs> what is with the ninja moves? And now we got Darnell Nurse about 50 feet out of position. I knocked it off McKinnon, but when I hit him, I knocked both of us into the offensive zone, which put us offside. DMAC and Kov Kovanov has 22 points. Into the corner. Husey. Boom. Get knocked, buddy. So back to the point right in front. Oh, no. Jet Wu got himself there so fast. All right, all right, all right. We're getting angry. I can feel it. <laughs> I can feel frustration starting to build. Boom! That felt a little better. Here we go, baby. D-Mac gets it up to Esteban Hall, entering the O-Zone yet again. We're just knocking people around. Woo! That was an interesting little chance. We've got to get off the ice, though. This is a very, very long shift as Vancouver brings it into the Minnesota zone. Wow, my nose feels weird. Like, just like in the middle of a video, you're recording a video, and like dead center in the middle of it, you're like... Did I just get sick just right now? Like, my nose feels super weird. Patterson, knock him off it. Come on, Patterson, knock him off it. <laughs> Whoa! What a hit by Kovanov! You're a bad man. You're evil. Pure flipping evil. Here we go. Get it across. No, it's not where I meant to pass it. Damn it. All right, here we go. Patterson trying to take it back out of his own zone again. He is somehow not in concussion protocol. He gets knocked again. Boom! I shouldn't have done that. That was very dumb. Very stu stupid, dumb, dumb D. <laughs> the very stupid play right there. All right. So we're in the box for interference. And, oh, no. Is it costly? It was. I was I, I was still a little hopeful because our team is kind of famous for getting shorthanded goals, especially in the playoffs. <laughs> Since we've gotten into the playoffs, I think we have, like, three shorthanded goals or something. It's just absurd. Braden Schneider. It's a nurse. Try and get it out of our own zone. Got to stop up. Play smart. Oops. Off the skates of nurse. That's never what you want to see. Jesus. Look at how they're just on us right now. Just in the last little stretch. Here we go. DMAC on the ice. We're coming down into the neutral zone. We're playing offensive down by one, even though we're shorthanded. All right. Point guy. Anus Brodine gets it over to Dysentery. Dysentery. Oh, right in front. What a fee. Ah, damn it. <laughs> I just couldn't quite hold on to it. And man. That was, uh, it was Elias Patterson. He swelled on me so fast to tie me up along the boards. Anus Brodine gets it back to dysentery. Drop it back, drop it back. Oh my god, why am I stuck in place right now? This is so stupid! <laughs> Come on, get in there. 
Got across the defenseman. Nice blocker save by, I believe it's Kevin Lankinen. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Right? Again? Some more? They don't, I don't know. The AI isn't really in the in the habit of, like, changing their goaltenders mid-round. <laughs> they There's no Pete DeBoers in this game. <laughs> Here we go. D to the measle. Whip that one around the net. Patterson's there to get it. Boom! Knock him off it. Anus Brodeen gets all tied up. McKinnon, it's back out in front of the net. Marino, get off this thing. Salamonson. Oh, what a hit! Jesus! D-Mac is getting real nasty, real mean in this one. Oh, man, they just, like, stay in front of you forever. Boom! Are you joking? I said hit Marino, and I hit Besser instead! What are we doing here? What kind of game are we playing? Jesus, that's bad. That was bad. I mean, I'll take responsibility because at the end of the day, I was the one that did it. We're in the final minute of the game, down by one. It's five five on three. Leah Anderson gets an interference penalty. But it's like Marino was right there. I was like, hit Marino. He goes to hit Marino. Besser closes in on that little pile of bodies. And it's like, he just... DMAC went for the hit on Besser instead, and that was just a horrible decision. You know what? It's just Sim. Let's get it over with, man. Get it over with. Yep. Two to one series. Horrible way to end the video. But it is what it is. You know what I mean? That's just the way she goes. <laughs> Alrighty, well, that is going to do it for me for this one. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you haven't already. There's new videos coming all the freaking time. And until next time, you beautiful melon farmers, have yourselves a good one.